Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how I made my emergency light of long duration. I am using these lithium ion cells. I got them very cheap, as you can see I have a lot of them. And as I said, they are very cheap, but you get what you pay for, as they say. Of course, uh, these batteries are not very good. They are advertised as having 8800 milliamp hours, which it is not true. Even the best batteries have a maximum capacity of around 3500 milliamp hours. But I checked them in the battery analyzer and the real capacity of these cells is around 5 to 600 milliamp hours. But they do work, so I decided to make something useful out of them. I made initially these packs of 12 cells, but I plan to cut them in half in order to have six cells packs because I want to use this metal box from an old uh, PC power supply. It's an ATX power supply. So according to the measure, I can put six cells and a total of eight, eight packs of six cells each inside the box. All of them will be in parallel. In that way, I have a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts, maximum voltage after a charge of 4.2 volts. And having them in parallel means I do not need a battery management system or BMS. You only need the BMS when you have serious connection of cells. With all of them in parallel, I don't need that circuit. provided by uh, a couple of these LEDs. They are 3 watts each and they have a nominal voltage of 3.6 volts. So it is perfect for these cells to provide the voltage that these LEDs need. First I will charge all the batteries using my power supply until they reach the voltage of 4.2 volts. Okay, I disassembled the power supply. Now we have the metal box for the project. And of course, we can recycle all the components from the power supply. A couple of fans, ton of medium gauge wire that is useful for many projects. We have heat sinks, two high voltage capacitors, lots of magnetics and uh, power diodes and transistors, among other minor components. All the batteries are now connected in parallel. Finally, there is enough space for seven groups of six batteries. So we have a total of 42 batteries or cells in parallel. Now I will use this socket as a charge terminal in order to charge the batteries. This will be the positive and the negative. And here we will connect to the battery, positive and negative. And the two LEDs 
which will be in parallel, will be connected the positive terminal here and the negative, this wire here goes to the switch and the other side of the switch will go to the negative of the LEDs. Therefore, we will use the existing switch to turn the lamp on and off. I have the two LEDs connected in parallel and these LEDs draw 600 milliamps maximum each so with the two in parallel the current consumption must be 1.2 amps or less. Since they work at around 3.7 volts and the fresh batteries have 4.2 volts we need a limiting resistor. I am using this 0.47 ohms resistor so let's check what is the current draw it is a little more than one amp so each LED draws around 500 milliamps and that current is enough for them to work and they will not be damaged the battery must be insulated in order to avoid contact and a possible short circuit with the metal box. So I used clear plastic on both sides and duct tape. Of course, duct tape is not the best insulating tape, but at only 4.2 volts, there should not be a problem. I also added some plastic in the top and bottom of the box and a handle. Okay, we are almost done. The battery is connected and also the two LEDs. So let's test. Okay. Here we have the two LEDs in place. The metal from the box serves as a heat exchanger and I added some paste for better heat transfer. I finally added this plastic cover that I recycled from a broken commercial LED lamp. It fits perfect and it is ready. So. For how long can we use our emergency lamp before the battery goes out? Well, each of the batteries gives 500 milliamp hours. And since our two LEDs draw precisely around 500 milliamps, each battery lasts for one hour. We have 42 batteries inside. So in theory, we can use our lamp for continuous 42 hour before the battery dies and after that we can recharge in the socket using our power supply. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you liked this project. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.